Well, a woman who moved to North Texas from California can't settle in because she says the moving company hasn't delivered her furniture. The case has now turned into a theft investigation, and Hannah is here this morning to share her warning to others planning to move. Good yeah, morning. as if moving in and of itself wasn't already that much of a nightmare, Brandon. Back in June, Amanda Cascella and her three daughters moved from Southern California to Denton County. Well, now, almost a month and a half later, her house is still mostly empty. Cascella sent Fox for a copy of her contract with the moving company. It says it takes 5 to 18 business days to move, but it also says delivery times are only approximations. First National Van Lines, the name of the moving company, would not comment on the case. Cascella says she paid nearly four grand she owed in full. She told police the company is demanding more money and holding her belongings hostage. There's no sense of home. They completely cut conversation, refused to answer any text messages, phone calls, voicemails. Filed law enforcement reports in California, Denton County, and New Jersey, where the company operates, according to online records. A police report indicates an ex-girlfriend of a man involved told investigators that he moved to Columbia. Now, if you are moving or if you happen to know someone who plans to use Mover sometime soon, the Better Business Bureau offers some advice. Number one, ask for verification for things like proof of licenses or insurance. Get at least three estimates, all from different companies, to you in writing. And take your valuables with you. Even if you have a great company, it's normal for items to get damaged or even lost in the journey. So it's good to protect your possessions. We have a list of more recommendations and moving company red flags on our website, fox4news.com. All right.